I'm going to teach for you now uh, a piece that's at sort of intermediate advanced level. It's a slip jig called Swerving for Bunnies. Um, a slip jig is a type of dance in 9-8 time signature. So you're always going to be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, and it's, it sounds complicated the first time you hear it, but as I break it down, you'll realise that the phrases are, are very repetitive and so bits get recycled over and over. So it's not nearly as hard as it might seem at first glance. Um, the, the tune is called Swerving for Bunnies. It's a tune that I wrote a couple of years ago now. Um, I was on tour with my band and we had a little bit of an incident involving me driving the car and um, swerving to try and avoid hitting a rabbit on the roads up in Sky. Um, and our car unfortunately ended up in a very big ditch at the side of the road and we, we missed our gig because of this. So this tune was written as an apology to my band. It's called Swerving for Bunnies. So we'll break that down. So the first phrase, we're going to play G right in the middle with our second finger. And then you're going to jump up onto a four note shape, B, C, D, and up to G with four, three, two, one. And we're going to go. So the rhythm of those two bits together will be. Do that again. Then straight away, you're going to put your thumb back on the G that it just played. Second finger onto F, third onto D, and fourth onto B. And we're gonna go. Okay, so play that again. So those two parts together will sound like this. Okay, so that's your first bar. Let's do it one more time. Okay, for the next bar. You're gonna start with a three note scale on G, A and B and we're going to play that twice and then you're going to set your second finger back onto the A and the third onto the G and your fourth finger is going to go down onto E and we go so it's the scale up twice So that's our whole first phrase of the tune. So I'll play those two bits together. And if you want to put in some ornamentation, you can do. A cut here. So I cut from G to F. And then a cut from B to A here. Those are optional just if you want to. So I'll play those phrases again. Okay, the next phrase is almost exactly the same. We start off exactly the same way. So all of that's the same. And then we go on to our three note scale twice. But we just play A on its own now. So that phrase will sound like this. Okay, so that's our first two phrases. So I'll play them together. Exactly the same thing again, both of the two phrases repeated. So So that's the whole first half of the tune. So onto the B part. We start up on our high E 
and you're going to do a, a triplet ornamentation. We're going to go. So you play the E once with your second finger, then you're going to play it with four, three, two. So it's like that. And then set on, put your fourth finger back onto that same E and set on a four note scale going up. Okay, so those two bits. Okay, one more time. Okay, next phrase is going to sound like this. So this one's a wee bit complicated. Is our first shape. So it's a four note shape. B, A, G and E. So B, A, G, E. Then your next shape is going up the way. D, E, G. And then down onto B, A, G with fingers two, three, four. Okay, so that's starting up here. Then up the way. Down the way. Do that one more time. Okay, so if you go from the start to the second half, it does sound like this. second phrase of the second half is going to start off exactly the same way we just as we had before and now you're going to do a big long scale that goes from we start on B we play B twice and then we have a scale that goes from our high C almost to C we miss out C on the way down and we go straight to B so it's and then cross your thumb onto F, miss out C and go straight to B. So that phrase together will sound like this. I'll do it again for you. So I'll play those first two phrases of the second half now. Okay. Next phrase is again going to start exactly the same way. Now we have a shape that's going to sound like this. So we start off with an octave, you're going to play the bottom notes twice, and then thumb, then put your fourth back onto that D, but thumb down onto C, and then move your thumb down again, so it's D, 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 C, D, and then we've got three extra notes to add on, A, G, E. Like this. One more time. So that whole phrase will sound like this. Okay, so let me play all those three phrases now. off now we've got a, a section that's got a sort of cross rhythm within it you're going to keep your thumb on G all the time 
and your third finger is going to move down. We start on D, then C, then B, and then we do a scale up A, B, C. And we're going to do that four times. time we go A, B, A, G and that gets us back to the start. So the fingering I would always go 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1 and then 3, 2, 1 and then you can cross. Okay so let me play all of the second half for you now. So I'll play the whole right hand for the tune through now for you. So now onto the left hand. Most of our left hand is going to be in tenths. So a tenth is when instead of, if you put say your G at the bottom, instead of playing just an octave, you're gonna stretch up another two notes. So in that case, you'd have G and B together. So that's a tenth shape. So it's worth practicing your scales in tenths just to get used to that shape. So we're gonna do a G10. B10, then a C10, and then a D7. So that's D and then C at the top. Okay, so it's. And the rhythm is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, Bass, the way that's going to fit with the right hand is. I'll do that again. The next part is exactly the same, so we go back to the for both of the phrases of the right hand and then we do it four times in total so it sounds like this to get it the first time because it's the same thing four times in a row you should get it nice and fast so our second half left hand so it's again in tenths we start off with a C and then a D10 and then E and then D again so C D E D and the rhythm is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do it again. So the way that will fit is like this. 
And then the good news is, again, we do that over and over. And again. Just up as far as there. So you get it two and a half times in total. I'll let me play all that again. together as a chord and then a B10 separated and the rhythm is going to be we'll play it again so it's on the second D it goes okay and then our last little bit is going to go D10, B10, C10. And the rhythm for that last bit is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so the way that will fit it. the tune there's an extra bit that gets added on we go but instead of finishing here we go so we repeat that whole last section but with different chords now we have an a10 then the B, then C, then we do the C again, and then D, and finish on G, so that's going to be, then B, then C, C again, D, and then G. So that's your whole second half. Let me play all of that for you. So it starts on C. is I'm going to play the whole tune through at about half speed for you.
now to finish off, I'll play it again at speed. Um, I'll play it twice through, so the first time with the first ending and the second time with the last time ending. Um, feel free to add your own variations, to add your own ornamentation. Um, I tend to vary the left hand um, most times I play it, so you can feel free to play around with that. So here we go. So that's the whole tune for you. I hope you've enjoyed learning Swerving for Bunnies and thank you very much for watching.